Hello guys and welcome to another video from Vintage Radar. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the watch battery on your Timex Daydate watch. Uh, as long as you have the CR2016 cell, this tutorial is going to work for you. Now as you can see on the table, I have a bunch of things right here. So I have a new watch battery, a few tools and also a watch press, a basic watchmaker toolkit and a few extra batteries. So if you are new to watches, I would definitely recommend going online and purchasing a watch press because on a lot of watches you need that in order to press down the back. So the back case once again. On this one it is going to work with your bare hands but there are a lot of models that need an actual watch press and you might find yourself without the possibility to actually close the watch also inside the basic watchmaker toolkit you are going to find all the basic tools that you need in order to start working on your watches and also guys if you enjoy working on your watches you can go and buy a set of watch batteries as you can see right here we have the 2016 you might also find the CR1620 also the CR2025 you also have the CR1216 on other packs and also the basic uh, watch batteries that go in most of the watches. So this is very useful. I will leave a link in the description below to all the tools so that you can go and purchase them. If you only want to replace this watch battery, make sure to order it before actually working on your watch. Once again, you will be able to find this number. So CR2016 cell on the back of your Timex watch. So what we are going to do is to actually take a case back opener or a watch knife which can actually open the back of the watch. Now on most watches you are going to find a small lift on the back of the watch where you can actually place your tool and do that. And on Timex watches as you can see right here we have a small triangle so a small arrow that actually points to the place where we can do that. So what you want to do is to go in that place you are going to use the case of the watch as a lever in order to push the back of the watch out. Just like that. Then we are going to unveil the watch movement and the watch battery. As you can see all watch batteries have on them written the exact uh, model. You can go online and also search for battery equivalents in case you do not find the, that exact one. Now you are going to use a pair of tweezers in order to remove this. I would suggest to be very gentle with these movements because this metallic part can actually get bent and you won't be able to place the watch battery back inside. So make sure to take your time, gently take the battery out and as you can see we are going to throw this away and we have a brand new battery right here. So here comes the tricky part because you do not want to break your movements as I mentioned. As you can see right here we have a small metallic part that actually holds the battery and also makes the connectivity with it. So do not apply too much pressure on this part of the movement as well because you do not want to break it. So what you are going to do is to position your watch like this. Go with your battery at a small angle and here just push it and also press it down a little. And as you can see now, since the movement is intact and nothing is broken, the watch actually holds the battery. Now then you want to look at your watch and to make sure that it is ticking. So that means that you have the right watch battery. Then you are going to take the back of the watch and place it in the exact same position as it was uh, before opening the watch. As you can see we have this arrow right here. As I mentioned in the beginning on this exact model you can actually press the back of the watch with your uh, bare fingers and that means that as you hear that click the back of the watch is in its place and as you can see the watch is ticking but once again there are a lot of backs that won't be able to uh, be pressured with your own uh, bare hands and you might see some people online that use certain pieces of wood and some towels in order not to break the glass. I would definitely not recommend to do that because a lot of people actually break their watches so it is better to go the safe way. So guys that was the tutorial. If you enjoyed this type of videos make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch our YouTube channel for other restoration videos, watch tutorials and also check out our websites. Once again, link in the description below. Thank you guys and I'm going to see you on the next video.